When I'm in the middle of something complex, I sometimes need to take a breather and do something simpler. Paper covered pamphlets are perfect for this. This is a continuation of the series on this simple structure and today I want to make a simple book with turn-ins which give the book a neat finished look. I'm going to follow the instructions from Kathy Abbott's book as closely as I can as an exercise in following written instructions. If you're just getting started in bookbinding and want to buy a book on the subject, this is the first book I'd recommend you buy and the details are in the description below. The paper covered pamphlet only requires simple tools and basic materials. The finished book will be A6 sized, but instead of starting with A5 paper, I follow Abbott's instructions and start with A4 paper. In the US you would start with letter sized paper. We need three sheets of white paper and a single sheet of A4 or letter sized decorative paper for the cover. Take the three sheets of white paper and fold in half. Slip these in half with a sharp knife and fold the now six sheets of paper in half again to make the single section for the book. If you start with long grain paper, the resulting book will have the paper grain running head to tail, which is what we always want in book binding. Most white paper this size is long grain, which is convenient for this project, but maybe not for A5 sized books. Once the section or signature is folded, Put it in a press or under a pressing board for at least an hour or so, but better if it's overnight. This presses the air out of the book. If you're not familiar with what paper grain is, I have a video on the topic and I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's an important characteristic of machine made paper and an understanding of it will help you make better books. Now we'll focus on making the cover. We'll use 25mm or 1 inch turn ins. I mark the turn ins on a long and short edge. Then I use a steel ruler and bone folder to crisply fold these over. In the finished book, we want the long turn ins to overlay the short 4 edge turn ins. I deviate slightly from Abbott's instructions at this point and trim the long turn in at a 45 degree angle with a knife. I do this by making a mark where the turn-ins overlap on the inside corner and unfold the turn-in and trim it with a knife and ruler. Abbott makes these cuts with scissors. Now we can fit the cover to the book by placing the section on the cover with small squares, about 2mm, at the head and foredge. The square is the piece of the cover that extends past the book block. Make a mark at the spine and tail, again giving a small 2mm square at the tail, but not at the spine. Transfer the tail mark along the paper with a scrap piece of paper 
and then fold the tail turn in at the marks. Unfold and trim it to the same width as the other turn ins. Trim the new corner at 45 degrees as before. Use a small square to fold the cover at the spine. Once it is folded, mark the fore edge of the other side of the cover and fold at the marks. Again, trim the new turn in to the same width as the others and trim the two new corners at 45 degrees. Make sure you trim the long turn ins, not the short ones. Another small deviation from the instructions is that I trim the little triangular flaps of paper at the corners, which I think makes things look neater. Refold the cover, making sure to fold the short edges first so that the long turn ins overlap the fore edge turn ins. We're almost finished. Fit the section inside the cover and hold it in place with some bulldog clips. Punch three holes through the spine fold with an awl. Place something like a piece of cardboard under the book and push the awl through at 45 degrees. Put a hole in the middle and about 15 millimeters or half an inch from the head and tail. Thread a needle with linen thread or doubled up cotton thread and use the pamphlet sewing pattern to sew the book. Abbott puts the knot on the outside, so that is what we'll do too. Go in from the outside at the middle hole, down to the end and back out. Skip the middle hole on the way back and go back in at the other end. Back to the middle hole and back out. With the tails of the thread either side of the outside thread going from the head to tail, tie a square knot over this outside thread. Trim the tails of the thread and maybe try and fray out the little tails, which didn't work very well for me with the linen I was using. And now the book is complete. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button 
If you are able and want to, you can support the making of more videos like this through Patreon or with a one-off contribution and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and select the notification bell. Until next time, cheerio.